Hey everybody, I am here with my eldest daughter and my baby daughter is not on camera and boyfriend Max, mm -hmm. Cowboy Max is on the sidelines and he's going to chime in. They can't see you, Max. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. so to the point, so these are my latest TJ Maxx treasures <laughs> and you know, the inexpensive. I know a lot of you don't like dupe fragrances, but others of you really do. So the four things that I got at TJ Maxx is the Milestone Saffron Noir, which is, of course, a dupe of Byredo. And y'all, I don't have the notes in front of me because we're visiting and working on my daughter's new house. Mm -hmm. Both my kids moving into this beautiful old house that we're working on. But I'll put the notes and all that in the description, of course. So Byredo dupe and then um, this one by the... I can't even read, but it's the, you guys know what these are, the, the Le Monde Gourmand ones that they sell at Urban Outfitters. That one is the chocolate. And this one is chocolate hazelnut. And like many of their fragrances, it also goes by a different name, which I'll put in the notes because we're just doing this real quickly before I leave. Um, and then, of course, I have heard everybody talk about this one. My TJ Maxx never has it. And finally, finally, why are you laughing? My youngest daughter's laughing at me. Finally, mine had this one. I should have got more than one just because everyone talks about it, but it's the Vanilla Potion, right? I know y'all have heard of this one because there's TikToks and all kinds of um, chats on this one. Something funny? No. Anyways, we've been working on the house all day, so I'm looking rough. You always look great. Okay, and the last thing is not even, you know, a fragrance, but it's a lotion. But the reason I'm including it is... I found this discount, discounted, and it's uh, Peach Body Butter by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. And the reason I'm including this is when I first open it and smell it, you people my age, y'all, I'm 46, but I'm going to be 47 October 8th, so feel free to wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, this smells so good. It smells like the old Victoria's Secrets peach body spray which they do not make it not that I'm aware of anymore like they made back in the day it smelled so good you guys and this smells just like that it smells so good now when you put it on it moisturizes well but it does not keep that same vibrant smell as when you first open it gosh doesn't it smell good when you first open it it smells like the juicy, like around the pit of the peach. It's so good. Should we review this one first since you've already smelled it and started describing Well, that's all I really have to say about it. For those of you who knows what the throwback vintage Victoria's Secrets peach perfume slash body mist smells like, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why they don't make it anymore because it was so good. Yes, it's still there. Okay, Cowboy Max is going to come in and have a smell. Mm. You're not on camera, Cowboy Max. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does that smell good? Smells like a Georgia peach. Yeah, it does. And we're right, right now we're, we're in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We're normally videoing. Yeah, it's a tear. Actually, South Carolina. I have a funny story and I'll do it at the end of the videos. Y'all don't let me forget about the peach story between the Carolinas, okay? okay. And Georgia. Okay. Anyway, um, so, okay, back to these. Okay, first let's just talk about the... Vanilla Potion. That's I actually like that bottle. I'm a big fan of the packaging and the bottle shape. I also, yeah. I'm a big fan of this fragrance. I never like smelled it before, but I really, really liked it. I feel like it just went well with my body chemistry. So I had you in mind, and I had my niece in mind too when I picked this up, and all the fragrance junkies who rave about it. Mm -hmm. uh, my niece, her signature note is is vanilla so um and you like a lot of vanilla too mm -hmm. but not it's not my go-to but yeah. i do like it but hers is when they smell vanilla they're like they call her name they're like i know she's coming mm -hmm. but so a lot of these inexpensive fragrances i don't know how they afford to sell them for what they do because you have the juice and i like a lot of their bottles are like heavy good bottles i mean yeah it's super solid it's like a big thick piece of glass really solid um i think it's pretty i like the little advertisement the atomizer is okay. It's not as good as these milestone atomizers, which they're famous for. I like the atomizer. It's okay. You know, it's not bad. It's not super great, but it's, it's okay. I'm a big fan of this one, even though not, like I said, vanilla's not my go-to, but I really like this on me. It smells good on you. This, this one smells 
the brighter notes pop on you. God, okay, so I'm gonna put, again, the notes are not in front of me, but I'll put them down below. There are surpri a surprising amount of notes in this one. It's not just a flat vanilla. No, and on me, it reads something, there's something else to it, I don't know. I almost wanna say like vanilla and bourbon, but that's not what it is, Like, but it has, it has, it's got, I'll put the notes, but what I'm saying is we looked them up earlier. There's actually a good bit of notes in this one. It's not yeah. just, you, there's something bright in that. I can't remember what the. Yeah, I almost, it's almost like similar to Jasmine or Patchouli or it's got, it's got something. I think that Patchouli is actually in this, but for yeah. those of you who don't like Patchouli, don't worry. It's not, it's some, not you, won't, you won't even notice the Patchouli yeah. actually. It's just hidden in there it's as just a base note. Yeah, something's ringing out through the But there's like some floral pop or something. But mm -hmm. when I spray this on me, um, it smells good, but it, it really has on my skin has those other notes don't pop on my skin. Yeah. On me, this smells like a, um, like a suntan, uh, what do you call it? Not just lotion, but like a, a sunblock type. It smells like vanilla sunscreen on you. Like sure. sunscreen. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit, not, not straight sunscreen. Not but straight, but it has the sunscreen vanilla vibe, which isn't a bad thing. But I, I like it. I personally like yeah, it. Yeah. I like that, but I already have a lot of stuff that smells like that. If you like like that, like beachy, like uh, aerosol spray, not aerosol, but like the, the pressurized spray sunscreen. The beach is our vanilla. favorite. Yeah. I love everything that reminds me of the beach. Maybe so. that's why I'm a big fan of this. Cause I like that kind of smell. But well, I do like vanilla. I'm not a hardcore vanilla fan, but I, as so many other people say, this is really good for layering, no doubt. Who wants to oh, smell it? So, my baby daughter's gonna smell it. And you really do like sweets. You're a gourmand mm -hmm. person. And they smell good on you. Well, it's the vanilla beach type. There's just something about it that has like that scented. Mm -hmm. I like it, and I would love it for layering. Now, let me tell you my complaint. I've seen where other people say this lasts for them. This does not last for me. When I first spray it on my skin, it seems like it's going to last and project. But for me, it has no longevity and it just does not project. I wish that it did. I sprayed, I sprayed myself all over with all of these today. I, my main complaint for all of these is longevity. Mm -hmm. um, well, you, fi you finish uh, up with these. I was just about to say, so I'd love to hear what Pooh had to say and Max had to say about this, but I want to say that on me, I feel like for me, it does not project super hard, but if you're like walking past someone, I think it lasts Wait, a few hours. It? Like, vanilla. It smells yeah. like a vanilla bean extract. Mm, it does. And yeah, Max gets the straight like extract. You said that last mm -hmm. night too. Yeah, he did. But I personally think it lasts, but I think it, it it wanes off. Like, and I also think that it's not a heavy projector. It's not gonna come punch you in the face like from across the room. But I think when you're walking past someone who's moving or like doing something, you know, I think you'll smell it. Cause I noticed that y'all were complimenting me as I was moving around. Well, that's true. Yeah. I didn't know if you added anything or not. No, but I'm a big fan. Oh gosh, um, <laughs> I look so rough. But we've just been working so hard, moving and relocating and working on stuff. Mm -hmm. But they've seen me look way worse, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you're a vanilla fan, yeah, why not? I mean, this one, I see people say they get it for different prices, but it's usually around. Uh, but this one I got for sixteen ninety nine at our TJ Maxx, and if you don't want it, I'll give it to my niece. If you love vanilla, yeah, you just keep reapplying. I do like it. I'm just mad. I'm mad at it for not on me lasting or projecting or projecting. Yeah. I want. I guess I'm I'm an old lady. I just want things to be loud. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Not always, but I really like. I want things to be sexy. Uh, I want them to be potent. Yeah. I want that sillage. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is a good base note for layering. Like if you have something that's maybe a little brighter or would go good with vanilla, like this would be a good like base for layering on top of. Because it's got it's sweet when you come up close to you. It's nice. And you know what? The name, right? Who doesn't love the name? Vanilla Potion. Yeah. Um, I almost It almost looks Western to me. Like if you had like a retro or like vintage dresser or vanity, like a... I'll tell you one more thing about the Vanilla Potion. I've seen a lot of the fragrance junkie fragrance people complain that they can never find it in their TJ Maxx because when it is in the TJ Maxx or Marshalls or it's wherever good. else, people buy it up and they're selling them apparently on like eBay and stuff mm -hmm. for ridiculous prices. Mm -hmm. Like 
way two, three, four times <laughs> what you could purchase it at. So people are just like, I wouldn't do y'all that. don't do that. That's yeah. not cool. Yeah. It's not cool for those who are looking for it. Yes, they can order online, but they yeah. want to be able to go in there at TJ Maxx and get yeah, some. Yeah, just wait. It's not <laughs> worth like a, a triple the price of this. In my opinion, even though it's a great fragrance, I would not buy it resale. Oh, no, no. You know? I mean, I love the Bath and Body Vanilla Body Spray, and it's similar to that. I always say body spray, but like body fine mist. Yeah, it actually whatever. is very similar to the Noel Vanilla Bean. I can't remember what that's called. I think it's called Noel Vanilla. It's like a green, or it used to be yeah, a green bottle that bean. comes out during Christmas, oh, but it's called, it's, 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 it's called Noel, and it's a green body mist, or bath mm -hmm. body. It's very similar to that. It may be a little something uh, else, but. I'm getting those other notes on me this time. Yeah. I have to admit, this is, it's a pretty vanilla, and I'm getting those lighter. I can't wait to relook up the notes, and I'll list them for y'all. Mm -hmm. It is very pretty, and vanilla lovers, yes, it's nice, but I do wish it was just like, mm -hmm stronger and lasted longer mm -hmm. and it just doesn't on me i guess my skin eats it up Ooh, what are your thoughts on this i'm not throwing this one it's heavy <laughs> it is heavy that's solid it, I, I think the glassware is beautiful and i, I personally mm -hmm. like the atomizer and the, the it's a good atomizer it's just not a milestone atomizer i think you all know that that these milestone dupe brand this dupe house um is known for their really nice atomizers. Somebody was going by with a bass kicking. Drives, mm -hmm. cars, what is that? Cars drive by with a booming system. Booming bass. <laughs> That's a song though. It's like way loud. Is that the neighbors or is that somebody going by? It's the neighbors. It's the neighbors again, y'all. They're just like, wow. They're booming their bass. Who, let's hear your thoughts. Yeah, please. hurry, we gotta move it on. Well, I was waiting for you to finish. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Mom's all breezing through these. It is very warm tone. Do you love it? Like it? I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's not a solid A plus I'd for you. Put something else over it. Yeah. You'd layer it. I feel like uh, the the fragrances that you wear for this poo, um, like what what is the one that you go to? Um, Baccarat. Is Baccarat. Yours. I feel like Baccarat would be good with yeah, that. I, I personally, Baccarat I think something. Baccarat can have some petal to me too, but well, I think something peppery or leathery would go good. The max. Yeah. 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 It smells like the just the. French toast and it gets added vanilla. Oh yeah, yeah, it does have that I ring to it. Got cool. cinnamon and milk and yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're making it sound delicious. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But I definitely get some floral or, or sprut or something in it, like mm -hmm. somewhere in no, there. No, it does. It's not straight floral, and it's hard to pinpoint what else is bringing you through. I will say Max is a big fan of like those decadent, like sugary type fragrances. There's like as well. some musk. I'm getting a little light hints mm -hmm. of musk mm -hmm. too. He likes the sweet ones, y'all. <laughs> you do too, yeah. They smell yes. good on you too. Okay, so I will tell you this before we move on. As I stood and picked this out, I realized, and we all also realized it when I brought them home and we all sprayed them. These can all be worn together, actually. Mm -hmm. They're all actually complimentary. Mm -hmm. Y'all, as I look at this, I love this old school looking packaging. God, I wish this... I'm sorry, Lord, for saying that. Gosh, I wish this just... <laughs> stayed that awesome awesome peach i just want to eat this stuff is so good it's that kind of peach is so sexy i think i love it this is not my go-to scent i'm not a super big fan it. of this i like the more sugary peach i think this is more like of a i like the peach, peach. yeah it's very peach peach here with jp yeah jesse likes it jesse likes it anyway i like the container for that though it looks like the sounds are good and yeah it says the nice. vintage cosmetic company Oh, it yes, it does. it does. It's really peach. It does. I put it all over my legs. It moisturized my legs good. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's go ahead and move on to the Urban Outfitter, which I think is actually still true fragrance. And I will put the other name. I love this. Um, we ended up, this sounds crazy, but we ended up as this like mid to dry down and it has some similarity to Baccarat, we ended up saying. There's something. Just there. something very vague. Y'all don't count on that. Don't be like, I want a Baccarat dupe and it's go get dupe. this. No. There's just some vague There's similarity. Like it. It's like hazelnut Baccarat. Or I don't know if they can hear you. Yeah, you gotta speak up too. So Jesse said it's like hazelnut Baccarat. Mm -hmm. It smells that way on you. I notice a lot of those kind of fragrances read that way on you. Jesse has the best know. testing body chemistry. Everything mm -hmm. smells good on you. Mm -hmm. Something about the Something about it comes off synthetic like Baccarat. Yes, it's spicy though. I like the spiciness of that. 
That smells fantastic on you. I love this one, you guys. It does not last. Mm, what do you think of well, you love this one too from the get go. This was Max's favorite. Mine too. Is that the one that smells like cedar? Um, chocolate. Like a wood. Like it does have some. It does have something woody to it, but it's like chocolate, bourbon, wood. It, that's how I read this personally. Maybe it's y'all's body chemistry. It's boozy to you. It is boozy. It's very boozy to me. But it's like chocolate. It's like um, what do they? What do you call that? Um, chocolate booze. It's like coffee booze. It's um, like spicy chocolate, earthy. It's, it's earthy on me, and I like earthy. I get yeah. sweet, spicy, chocolatey, I earthy. It's kind of like a chocolate liqueur. It is. It does. Um, it, it, there's almost like a pepper or synthetic or something. Something's back there. That so technically, these are all unisex. I mean, anybody can layer vanilla, but these two are most definitely marketed unisex. Mm -hmm. And it smells like a like you had a fireplace burning in a chocolate factory or chocolate shop. Oh, you guys! Smoky yes, bubbles. I'm glad you said that because it reminded me. If you look on Fragrantica and other places, other reviews, people say that this chocolate hazelnut which i actually like the dark juice and everything people say it reminds them of by the fireplace mm -hmm. people also say that it reminds them of the fireside flurries a little bit it is similar i was a big big fan of that and i still am i just haven't been wearing it because it's been the uh, summer and spring but i will say uh, there was a bucket there is a hair just a, just a tiny is... touch of like that plastic smell behind not that's I, not straight plastic but you love that i love the plastic synthetic vibe it does you're right poo it does have that so baccarat does have that a lot of people don't like that but I love it. Too, I Maria. love Baccarat myself. I know, but some people are like, oh, it smells like Band-Aids or rubber. No, not like that. It smells like Kleenex. I've never heard of that. Like, I guess the rubber, but... This is sexy. Do you smell it? Y'all don't ruin it. Like, no. <laughs> Mom's meant to love it. This is spicy, a bit of something synthetic. It's earthy. It's like a little bit, I don't want to say musky, but mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of... It's almost smoky, just a hair. Maybe a hair smoky like a little bit um i don't know this the chocolate i could just eat this wears, up I, oh, sorry it wears off for me as soon as i spray it on myself it's got that more like smoky plastic uh, but deep, spicy like a little bit of spice and sweet i mean the chocolate's there it's sweet but the chocolate wears off mm. on my body the chemistry i get earthiness to it for some people don't like that but to me that makes it more sexy with the spiciness and i could see this looking or smelling very good on women but very much so men i feel like max would smell very good it was max's like favorite yes wearing it. i could see him wearing something like this gosh and it had more of a bourbony vibe on him mm -hmm. i don't know why it again does. i'll put the notes down there i love this this to me this is so sexy for women or men mm -hmm. it is just a sexy fragrance i think we all agree that this is a good one just the siage is poor you know that's uh, saying a big complaint across the board for all of these is that you're not going to be trailing if you want a head turner these are not the ones unless you're layering this with other unless things unless you just sprayed it in half the bottle of it like you just did it yeah i mean if you just sprayed it and walked out the door you may get a compliment from the mailman but you're not gonna a head <laughs> If he's delivering mail at yeah. that moment. Yeah, but you're not going to be, like, later on that evening getting, like, trails down. I, like, I just don't oh think it has God. good projection. None of these if do. anyone, well, you know what? I need to try the actual um, this by one. the fireplace thing because I actually don't have that, and I've never tried that. But It's, it's smoky yeah. good. If this, well, some people say they like this better because they don't really like the over smokiness of the other. Yeah, it's, it's less smoky. So the, any smokiness in this is mild smokiness. Mm -hmm. If y'all know of something that uh, smells just like this, but it's a powerhouse, I would love to know because this one's sexy. We all say this one is good and mm -hmm. sexy. I mean, the, this one is great too, but that one is sexy. And uh, I think the, I love it. as far as lasting power, uh, we're about to get to this. I think this one has the strongest lasting power. Like I sprayed this, mom sprayed this on my skin and I'm not a fan of how it mixes with my body chemistry. I don't hate it, but it just doesn't read the same way on it me. It pops differently on all of us. Yeah, it does. And this stayed on my skin all night. I was, trying, really? to, I was trying to sleep next to my face and all I could smell, it reads it. I don't want to say ashtray on, on me, but it has that dry. Like, Not on me though. It doesn't read that way on everybody else, but for me, it reads ashtray. And I don't, I don't mean like you smell like a cigarette. I just mean like that kind of after residue of like ashtray smell. That's how it reads on me. That I don't know, but there's other notes in there that I'm picking up on. Well, so. ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between and all around, uh, this this is unisex. This milestone saffron. It doesn't even say saffron. It says F 
S A F R A N Noir Eau de Parfum. What? Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> well, it doesn't say saf like saffron. You know what I mean? It says, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> this, and of course, it looks, of course, like the vibrato bottle. It's, of course, marketed to women and men. Mm -hmm. And I think it is totally unisex. Mm -hmm. It has got a really strong leather note. For me, it has a lot more notes than that. But for me, the most prominent notes in this are raspberry and leather. When I first spray it on me, it's a real strong pop of raspberry. But although I think raspberry is a mid or base note, it's it strong does. raspberry. And then it goes into a growing leather bomb. Mm -hmm. Like, so if you like leather, you will like this. And if you don't like leather, you won't. <laughs> but because yeah. it does turn into a like leather that grows much. Mm -hmm. Now, my experience with a lot of vibrato fragrances is that they cost so much, but they don't last. This is not long lasting enough for me, although you said it lasted for you all night. But it's, and I don't know yeah. about this vibrato fragrance if it is lasting. But this probably lasts longer compared to a lot of other actual vibrato fragrances. A lot of their fragrances just vanish, in my opinion. But. Um, yeah, I think the packaging. Now that? on Max, this also got popped like raspberry and then leather. It did. He reads sweet in a lot of these. Don't twist. Just pull, yeah, just pull, pull it off. Yeah. Oh. Spray it on yourself. And this one smells like if you walked into the the boot store. <laughs> it's leathery. <laughs> it smells like a leather leather hat. <laughs> Here, dab it and let me smell. Good. Did you spray <laughs> yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, yeah. See, it Let picks see. up something else. There's something perfumey okay. on it. About yeah, it's perfumey that. and that smells very perfumey and leathery on you. Yes, it is very perfumey and leathery yeah, on you. Jesse's gonna put it on. Me, wow. it went straight dry. But you get plastic. It went straight yeah. dry. I love spray a plastic on you. note too. So this vanilla can go with either of these. Oh yeah. Obviously, I think vanilla is in both of these anyway. And I don't hate this. Not I sure. Want to emphasize. I'll I don't check later. I don't hate this. I just I don't think it works uh, well with when me. When you first sprayed yourself, you were like, "Ooh, I'm an ashtray." Because it, it reads different on me but, than it does you. But even on you, I didn't different. think. Well, yeah, he's saying it does. Let different. me smell it on you. It's not as sweet on you. Max actually reads the sweet. It reads drier on you. I think it's our but it chemistry smells is probably good, though. It's still it does smell good. leathery on you. It's reading more leather on you than it is me, I feel like. I, I get the ashtray. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, <laughs> the, it's not a, as offensive as an actual ashtray. However, oh, that's sexy. You get what I'm saying. It's like for spray. It is so perfumey it's, it's and like leathery and raspberry on you. On those two. On us, it's kind of like ashy. It leather. is. It is that's ashy. It's more subtle, though. Mm -hmm. On me? On, it's more perfumey on Max. It's more dry and ashy, but leathery on you. And it yeah, does have a hint of perfume. Well, I on get me, raspberry. On me, it's straight ash. Like, yeah. I don't know why, but... Well, y'all, I didn't think it smelled that way on you, but you felt that way. It's yeah, definitely it's more dry on you. It's definitely not something I would lean towards uh, scent-wise. And I'm also a big sprayer. I would not big spray on this one, I personally. doused myself in it, and then I felt like nobody could smell me you earlier. You smell great. I think it smells great on other people. For me, it's you just... You could smell this on me earlier oh, after yes. I sprayed it? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll keep it then. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it smell like on you? I haven't sprayed mine. I really prefer not to, but... <laughs> I'll put all the notes down there. So, okay, so I get raspberry and some of the other perfumey notes. Yeah. I can't remember what's in there. Yeah, it smells like the odor. You think so? Yeah. Oh. It smells like when your car has That might odor. be why I like it. It is. I know that's why you like it. <laughs> oh, y'all smell it. It's smelling more perfumey right now on me, but mm. that's what she said. That smells good on you. What you happened? like that, Max? Max, do you like that on her? It smells more fruity. You are Yes. Yeah. 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 See. No, wait. Yeah. Give it a second. Hang on, y'all. Okay. Give it one yeah. second. Y'all could tone it down or smooth it out with vanilla if you want. This needs. No, that's vanilla. good. I'm not. I personally feel like it dries differently on me, like versus everyone else. Everyone else has like this sweet, perfumey vibe to it. Me, it feels like plastic and ash. That's how it feels on me personally. Okay, I think some people can yeah. use like a leathery note with plasticky note, but I love plastic and leather. And it has uh, both. but it definitely has leather. No, hands down, yeah. is a leather fragrance. Uh, you see, it gets ashier the longer it sits on my skin, the more dry and like ashier it smells. Yeah, it turns into a very dry type leather on me. Oh, that peach is so yummy. 
And I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it's not my. It's not. I y'all know I like pure wonder. Yeah. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Oh, Max was tripping on how good I'm the peach lotion is. Delicious, y'all. This one pops out out of once you've smelled all of these other ones, and then go back and smell the peach. It pops. It really. Out of the different smells. Mm -hmm. I'm disliking this less. I'm dis oh. disliking this one less. The Isn't more that like I around the it, juicy middle of like a juicy peach? It's mm -hmm. so good. I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest, oh. and it's not, I'm more of like a sugary peach candy kind of gal if I'm going to smell like peach, but, mm. but I get why, to me, this can kind of like go the opposite direction for me. What would happen if you put that over top of it? Do you mm -hmm. mind if I dab yeah. a little bit of this? Do what you want with your I used to wear the Victoria's Secrets peach back in the 90s, and it was so sexy in the sunshine, it smelled so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I looked really good back in the day. <laughs> it was so much of peach. I personally feel like oh. when I wear things like this, it goes, I don't want to say sour, but it goes the opposite direction. Let's see, let's see what happened. You just put both of them on there? But what is, what was on your wrist before? The, that smells uh, good. The, um, this one. The blithering raspberry. And there's, I think there's some floral mm. iris or something in here, but don't quote that. me until I go look at the notes and you look in the Ooh. notes listed. You like that, Max? I like that. I can roll with that. Max, so you can roll with the peach and the birado dupe. Now, with the Milestone, all the Milestone fragrances, I think, just have a really great atomizer. Let's see if y'all can, where's my camera at, like right here. Whoa, Bob, can y'all see that? Back it up a little bit if you're going to spray. Yeah, it's got a great atomizer. It's really smooth and broad and long spray to it. Oh, it's so, it's straight plastic ash. Oh, really. it's so sexy. Smell it again. It, as it, it changes. This one evolves on me personally. Oh. It keeps you could, evolving. You could try this one or buy this one just out of simple intrigue. I would love to hear what this does on you. And describe like, you know, are you guy, girl, or however you identify, but like your body chemistry and like just sit, tell us how this is the strongest. This thing. works on you. There's no mm -hmm. zero sweetness. No, there's zero sweetness. Yeah, the you. raspberry that's in this is not a sweet raspberry. Mm -hmm. It's just a raspberry it's like touch. Here. It's not at all sweet. It's like an 80s like powerhouse like smacking your face. It's dry. It's strong. See, y'all call it an 80s powerhouse, but you well, you don't know. I right? wasn't there, but yeah, I smelled but, her. I yeah. smelled her collection. To me, that's not powerhouse, mm -hmm. but to them it is. So. It's it's approaching. <laughs> it's knocking on the door. I was going to say this, yeah. this right here is, I would not spray this all over myself. I personally find this very strong. And like I said, in my body chemistry, it is evolving and it goes straight plastic leather ash on me. I'm, this is the strongest of the three. If you want something that's going to last longer, I say go with this one. If you're into this it's kind of It's totally fragrance. unisex. Some people think leather leans masculine, but I would say this is totally unisex. I think if you, for me, if you, sh if you spray something bright and shiny, like, pretty on the top. I feel like this could go well. Or something very sugary. They got a nice leather base. It's, mm -hmm. in my opinion, sexy. I could layer this, but it would not be like my go-to. I think if you layered it with a sweet leather, like some, there are mm -hmm. some sweet leathers, like, yeah. like what is it, some cherry? There are some, some buttery yes. suede type smells too. Sweet and with like a sweet leather. Yes. Oh, yeah. I feel like this could go well with Baccarat and it would be uplifted a hair. Like. Baccarat, no. You don't think so? I feel like there's... Some Actually, that would go well with Baccarat, and I'll tell you why. Because you wear Baccarat well, I do not. It's not But what I anyway. do wear well, and one of my favorites, is Tiziana Terenzi Spirito Florentino, which is basically like Baccarat with leather. So yeah, that would go. So that would be I like a Spirito, a Spirito Florentino vibe. If it it would not sweet. vibe, it would smell like it. If, if you read Baccarat Sweet on your body chemistry, I think this would go well because it would uplift it a little bit. You read really sweet, too. Like is she saying multiple things? I'm saying Spirito Florentino is like Baccarat with leather. So if you added this to Baccarat, it would be like Spirito Florentino. Yeah. Maybe it's just, I like Baccarat the way it is. I agree. Yeah, yeah I agree. Well, I agree. listen, Vivi and Max played out last night at Open Mic. And actually, Max was on the cajon, which <laughs> this is sitting, all the fragrances are sitting on. Um, and I actually had all of these on me, and I just didn't feel like anybody was like staring at me like I was smelling great or anything. Mom goes nose blind, and she wants to be a head turner when she goes out, and she always is. And she's like, I feel like no one can smell me. And it's not even like punch you in the face bad or anything. Mom smells fantastic, so good. And she's like, I don't know if I have projection. Like, well, sometimes I do know. Let me tell y'all what I recently did. I, I've been taking trips over to Georgia with a friend, and I have been 
lacing my suitcase ever so lightly with amouage crimson rocks mm -hmm. and then I put a few little other things add to it um, I actually like that baccarat dupe that I got at Marshall's it's so good it's like it has a spicy tinge to it mm -hmm. anyhow and by the way I'm mad at scent box because my amouage completely leaked by the way so now I'm just using the remnants of the oils in it the whole thing leaked and I just didn't even bother trying to deal with like returns and prove that it leaked but anyhow whether you like that fragrance or not by Amelage, um, as far as quality goes, hands down, that is quality. Because I just put a tiny bit in there and everybody is like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Like, you smell fantastic. Yeah. Um, I could smell her when she got out of the Uber. It was a train. It was just in my suitcase, yeah. my little suitcase. And everything smells so good. And it smells so quality. It's you smell just, like a boutique. You smell really, really good. Yep. Yeah. So props to Amelage Crimson Rocks. Mm -hmm. they, uh, do they settle over time? Yeah, I mean, things will dry down on your skin, yeah. And yeah. how are you feeling about it now? I think when the, the peach over top of the um, saffron, is it the saffron? Yeah, noir, yeah, saffron, noir. kind of smells like a peach cigar. It oh, does. Nice. It yeah. does. Do y'all want to smell like a peach cigar? <laughs> it does. Yeah, I was going to say the butt of a cigar, like not in a bad way, is very much this, if you like that kind of smell. And okay. honestly... Yeah, like a classy cigar. That's mm -hmm. actually a pretty very good scent. It's like a cheap cigar. It, if you add sweetness to it, in my opinion, I think I, th I think it's very cigar. That's what I was thinking. I didn't get to get it out, but I agree completely, wholeheartedly. This is very cigar. This is very whiskey. I don't this think this reads... This is sexy. Yeah, this is sexy, but it doesn't read very much chocolate hazelnut to me. I don't really smell a whole lot of hazelnut. I think the chocolate or, is there in the beginning and fades. I've heard other people who are big hazelnut fans are disappointed that it's not more hazelnut. It's not very hazelnut. I'm a big hazelnut coffee drinker. It doesn't smell like hazelnut coffee. Um, but it's, <laughs> the, the hazelnut gives it that woody earthiness to it, yeah. I think. and um, It's not sweet hazelnut. To me, this... I really love this. Gosh. To me, that one smells like Kindling of cedar, kindling before you yeah. start a fire, Chocolate and the other kindling. one smells Chocolate like... Chocolate kindling. That would be a cute name. Like mm -hmm. ash. Yeah. Like, not ashy, but... This is more smoky, mm -hmm. but yeah. this is like the kindling of fire, not yeah. actually smoky. It's got a woody, yeah. warm note to so it. Good. What'd you say, chocolate kindling? That would be a good yeah. name. Y'all don't steal that if you're consumers out there. It's already <laughs> documented. Um, these are all warm tones, minus this. I don't think this is warm tone, but the perfumes are I don't wear anything on a summer night, though. I'll wear anything any season. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean seasonal. I said they're like warm oh, spectrum. Yeah. Like if you're looking for warmer fragrance, these are basically more warm. Warm. I'm a big fan of like spicy, woody, earthy. I think that's sexy, but without powderiness. None of, thank goodness none of these are powdery. I'm not a fan of that. I but. like all these together, and I like this one. This one is enhanced when you wear it with the other two. I personally am, as much as I, I adore this fragrance, and I was very surprised, because like I said, I'm not a big vanilla person, and I like this one very much so too. And this one, I think, like I said, could be a good base layer. And I, But I think they're all great together, but I'm saddened to say that this one does not last or project as long as I would like it to. If it would last and project, I would wear this all the time. None and of these last as long as I would like them to. I, and they're tricky. Like, I thought they were going to. Which one would you say was that your smells favorite good. if yeah. you had to pick one? Oh, this one, hands down, is my favorite, but I like them all together, too. This is my least favorite. My second least favorite. This is like second to favorite, and then this is probably my favorite. Me Jessie. personally, I lean sweet. Favorite. Like in order, what this is objectively, it's pleasant, but it's not my favorite because it's kind of a flat, like Basic. predictable. It's like vanilla. Mm -hmm. I like it. <coughs> this is my favorite. Like in terms of complexity, this is least complex. Second, most. This mm -hmm. adds like depth and complexity. I agree. Mm -hmm. When you wear it all together. Good point. <coughs> this is my favorite because it smells like chocolate, kind of chocolate synthetic and a little earthy from the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. I agree. Almost like chocolate baccarat. Not quite with... Not quite baccarat, but you can... There's some the syntheticness adds up, so it's my favorite. Okay. Um, well, this is just like... Um, uh, it's like genuine peach. It's not like synthetic. It's not like fake peach smell. Exactly. This reads great on me, I actually. I have to agree with Jesse on my favorite would be the oh, yeah. chocolate cilantro. That's me. This one, that's that's this yeah. on me right here, Mom. Yeah. It's hard for me to yeah, say the six. second best. That's this? Yeah, that's Yeah, this. that smells good. I'm a big fan of this. These two yeah. together are great, too. It would be either chocolate or peach is my second. 
All yeah. right. So one, the two, vanilla is my third one. Three, I think four. this one's a little too sophisticated with the smells. It's, it's intense. It's I like it, but it's got. It'll take you over here, and then it'll take you over here. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah. so it's more complex, like well, Justin said. Yeah, it's mature, like not. It is mature in age, but not in age. Yeah, but like it's uh, context. <laughs> I I think that not everybody is a fan of leather in their fragrance. Not when leather is the dominant note. I think not everyone is a fan of that. But if you I did typically love it. well, I like leather a lot of the time. I I feel like this is leaning the most masculine out of everything. I think this is the most masculine. I also think the packaging would look great next to a man's like razor yeah, set. Yeah, but in the by, this is straight by Rado packaging in general. I'm so. just saying. I think it leans more masculine aesthetically as well as fragrance wise. So, um, so Max, from a male perspective, would you agree that this is a sexy peach smell? Yeah, <laughs> it is a sexy peach. Absolutely. Uh, yes. It smells like you could fuzzies on a peach is right underneath your nose and you don't have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> if it would stay smelling as strong as it is when you open this container, by the way, you know what? I got to start sending stuff to Jesse, the fragrance reviewer. Jesse like my baby mm-hmm. of course I'm very fond of that name but there's a fragrance reviewer who goes by Jesse and she's awesome and I love her channel but she does ASMR fragrance and she mm-hmm. said if you send her fragrance she'll review it that would be a good one the containers very this would be it's heavy to send mail but that all that type sound mm-hmm. now Jesse you need to do your ASMR too mm-hmm. but Jesse the fragrance reviewer does ASMR fragrance mm-hmm. review um so um okay the you all may not be interested in this you know we're kind of done reviewing i do love all of these and they can all be worn together but they just don't last long enough and it breaks my heart i hate it when i love something and it doesn't last like i want it to Mm -hmm. and i even if i don't love a fragrance if it no i take that back I was about to say, if I don't love a fragrance, but it has lasting power, I, I like it. Mm-hmm. That's a lie, because there's some ones that I absolutely <laughs> hate what that never one? die. What was the one that <laughs> like, left it down? Oh, my God. No, some people love that one, what? so let's not talk. White Diamonds is the one that I cannot stand, but also Giorgio Red, you cannot stand. Giorgio Red. But for those of you who love it, we're happy you love it and rock it. But yeah, so happy for you. Yeah, I'm for happy me, for y'all because they last forever. So It is very intense. If y'all like that, I'm happy for y'all because it lasts it be forever. Great. It might be great on their chemistry. Might I would. That's true. It reads Everything reads different on different skin types and body chemistry. And but you're that. some lucky ducks if you love those fragrance because they... Eternal. <laughs> yes, Eternal they are. Fragrance. They are beasts. Like so if, if you had to pick one out of the four fragrances, Jackson, how would you? Yeah, how do you rank them? My my choice for me, I don't even know if I want to keep these because they don't last, and it frustrates me. But if they all lasted, hypothetically, if they all lasted, hands down, this is my favorite. Three, yeah, hit four, hands four, down. Three out of four. Uh, yeah. So yeah. that's. That's competing with this one for me. These two together. I think this is the one I would wear the most, but I'm actually a big fan of this. I, th- I think they're all great together, minus the peach. I could actually even put these two together, to be honest with you, because I love these two. I'm so. not a fan of this, personally. But yeah. I see why everyone likes it, but I'm not a fan. I don't know I why. You'd think it. I'd like it, but... Props to the Vintage Cosmetic Company for this initial blast of peach smell and for its moisturizing power and because I just really like the vintage packaging. The like container's the, fantastic. It's yeah, really cool. cool. I think out of the mm-hmm. three, uh, out of the four, the you vanilla is more you? on the, you said that they were unisex, so the vanilla is more on the fem- feminine side. Of yes, the you're, you're right. I mean, but... Vanilla is in men's fragrances too, and it, it's it's just a base note like anybody can wear. But yes, it definitely is the most feminine. Of course, is vanilla and musk and whatever florals are in here. <coughs> and there's some I can't remember what's in this. I can't wait to relook it up. If I had more time, I would have had it prepared. But okay, end of the video. In case any of you are interested, we probably <laughs> I probably talked everybody's heads off too much. Okay, back to the peaches. So, Georgia is known for peaches, as y'all know, the Georgia peach. <coughs> My throat is itchy. Not not from this. It's just already itchy. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, in our country, California produces the most peaches. Mm-hmm. But 
Um, South Carolina's got, like in Gaffney, South Carolina, they got that giant peach mm -hmm. uh, water tower or whatever. And I think there was some little dispute between and between newspapers at some point in time uh, between Georgia and South Carolina. And South Carolina actually produces more peaches than Georgia, actually. Yeah. So anyhow, in this dispute, uh, Georgia had made a comment to South Carolina, something along the lines of, no, 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 South Carolina said we produce more peaches than you, Georgia. And Georgia said, yeah, but ours are sweeter and taste yeah. better. And South Carolina's response to that was, well, bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart. Anybody it's who's... a very South Carolina response. Of <laughs> Southern in general, but especially South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has lived in the Carolinas or knows any Southern culture knows what that means. <laughs> if you don't, look it up on yeah. Urban Dictionary. Yeah, go ahead and look that up. Well, bless your heart. Well, bless your heart. Well, bless your heart. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart. Yeah, I think y'all probably get the picture of what it means. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a peach story mm -hmm. between Georgia and that's South Carolina. All right, peace out, everybody. Like and subscribe and comment. Like, subscribe, comment, support my mom, support us. Thank All you, of guys. Us. Yeah. yeah. And we love you and hope you're having a fantastic morning, middle of the night, night, day, whatever it Afternoon. is. <laughs> Bye from all of us. Bye. Bye. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>